everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about the mastermind meditation and how it affects your manifesting process. I got some requests about the mastermind meditation after my last video, my crazy law of attraction stories. If you haven't already watched it, I highly recommend it. I left a link below. Most of you have heard of Napoleon Hill, and if you haven't, he's a really famous author who wrote the book Think and Grow Rich, which sold like 20 million copies. I had heard a lot about this book and one day I was walking in a bookstore in Venice and this book kind of just flew off a shelf and landed in front of me. It was one of those weird coincidences because there was no one around, so I figured I should buy it and I did. And I loved it. That was the Earthquake app on my phone. This book is full of valuable information and one of the things he talks about is masterminds. His theory is that when two minds come together, a third intangible mind force is created, which he calls the mastermind. Most people apply Napoleon Hill's mastermind theory to their businesses. If you just Google mastermind group, you'll find a ton of search results, and even Forbes is in on this. Most mastermind groups are about people sharing ideas, giving feedback, and brainstorming. Every once in a while, I like to do a mastermind meditation session, which is a little bit different. The way it works, or the way I've done it in the past, is you pick a person or a small group of people that you're really comfortable with, people that are in your inner circle. For example, a close friend, your significant other, or even a family member. In most mastermind groups, you're working with strangers or peers, but for mastermind meditation, it's best to pick someone you're comfortable with. When my friend and I used to do these sessions, we would sit down and make a list of specific things we wanted to create. I would recommend doing no more than 10, that way you can really focus in on a few things you want to create. When you're making your list, be completely unapologetic and non-judgmental about what you want to create. There's a reason that you want to create it. Next, you're going to go through your list together if you feel comfortable. And for this part, you have to be completely honest with yourself. You're going to go through each item on your list and put a number between 1 and 10 based on your beliefs if you can have it or not. So one would mean that you don't really believe you can have it. 10 would mean that you feel like it's already yours. So ideally you'd like to be at a 10. After you have those numbers, you're gonna go through your list and anything that doesn't have a 10 next to it, I want you to focus on and figure out why you don't fully believe you can have that. There is something within your belief system that is stopping that from coming to you. So you really need to focus on releasing that blockage in order to get it. So figure out how you can go from a 1 to a 10, or whatever number you're at to a 10. Find out what part of your belief system is stopping you. Figure out how to get your number higher. You don't have to find out how you're going to get it, you just have to change your belief about it. Next, find a quiet place to meditate and go through each thing on your list and really have that feeling that you already have it. You have to kind of feel it into your reality. You can meditate for as long as you'd like. You can do 10 minutes or an hour. I like to listen to a uh, meditation playlist on Pandora. It's called Jonathan Goldman, I think. It's just really great calming meditation music and it kind of keeps you focused. Just make sure you have like the ad-free Pandora. After you're done with your meditation, save your list, but let it go. This is the hardest part, probably the hardest step. Save your list, but just completely surrender to it and put it somewhere where you'll remember where it is because in a few months you're going to want to refer back to it and see what you've created. I found that when I do this mastermind meditation, the energy is so much stronger because you have two people vibrating with such high frequency at the same time in the same place, sending and receiving energy. I really hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe for more weekly videos like this.